dose, vapes. Keep your coils tight. Keep your wicks wet. If you're looking for new flavors, I'm all up on the clouds, bro. Filling up a clear road, we're dripping on the sub. But we boost for the juice while Trevor Josh holds you on the two. And prepare for overdose. Hey, Travis. Hey, Josh. How are we doing? Pretty good. How about we do a juice review? Let's handle it. Alrighty then. There's another one from Milkman, a new one from Milkman, called uh, Truffle Berry. This is from the Milkman Delights. Uh huh. Their line uh, Delights, four new flavors. Mm -hmm. And Truffle Berry, why don't you tell them what that is? So it's a rich chocolate truffle with sweet raspberry filling. This isn't truffle like mm -hmm. mushroom, this is truffle like little chocolate candy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's uh, check out the bottle box. Wonderful bottles and boxes. I mean, look yep. at this. The color scheme, everything about it is very, very nice. Yep. They still have the uh, the bottles that feel cheap, but they're just light. They're just plastic yeah. bottles. So unfortunate. Check them out. We're back. Cool <coughs> colors. I like the stripes on yeah, the top of the uh, cartons. Very cool. And all four of them have different colored stripes and uh, different motifs. Very neat. And the, the boxes do have the flavor profiles written out. Love that. But they also have a picture, which is like taking cues from, uh, you know, like the naked line and shit, which is yeah. having an actual picture to, sh to go along with the profile is huge. Especially when you're a global brand. Yeah. Like this is, you know, people like in Russia and all these other countries. you're in the United States and you don't speak English. Straight up. Right? Yep. Okay. You're going to get a basic idea just by looking at the picture of what's in this juice. It's the chocolate truffle with raspberry filling. Smells really good. Mm. In the bottle. I'm going for it. Go for it. The only thing is, is that it does have um, the, the chocolate smells a little tiny bit waxy, but that's American chocolate is waxy. Compared to a you know global chocolate, so yeah, we'll pop up the jams here. That's a truffle. The chocolate's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be, which mm -hmm. is I mean it's good. Yeah, the raspberry's a little a little perfumey, a little bit a flowery, tad bit a tad flowery. Bit. Yeah, uh, I wish the milk. I wish the chocolate was a little more milk chocolate. <clears throat> it comes across maybe as like slightly bitter, like a uh, a darker chocolate. Yeah, you know what's weird is it does say, um, well here it doesn't, but I, on the website it did say milk chocolate, but it, yeah. here, trying it right now, it's almost more of a dark chocolate. Yeah, it's got that little bitterness. Have you tried it out um, the nose? Uh -huh. The chocolate really comes alive out the nose. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, very flavorful vape. Uh, I think it is exactly what they're saying it is, yeah. right? I mean, it's a chocolate truffle with raspberry filling in it. The raspberry filling is not too sweet, so you still do get some of the tartness of that raspberry. Um, yeah, it's not like a crazy compote with a bunch of sugar in it. It tastes exactly like a, a fucking truffle, like the filling of a truffle. Like, yeah. Which is crazy to me that they would, like, how do they get that? I have no idea. Right. Because you would think it's just like they're adding chocolate in, in, in the raspberry together but in this case it's definitely not i mean this this tastes like a filling the raspberry portion does taste like a filling from a candy yeah which is fucking crazy and like in an overall sense the flavor would be like almost like a, a raspberry dark chocolate yes right yes where you where the raspberries in the chocolate and you just get those hints and that's really what i'm getting out of it it's good it's really good and it's way lighter than i than i expected it to be it's not very sweet like, there's almost no sweetness to this. It's more tart than yeah. sweet from that raspberry. Uh, and there are, you know, sweet elements to yeah. it. But it's not like what I would define as a sweet vape. No. It's not over, over sweetened or anything like that. Um, I'm going to give it a solid four. Yeah. Yeah. 
I actually really fucking like it way more than I thought it was gonna than I would. Um, you know, first off, it's just not even like something that I in real life I would be super crazy about. Right. But it's just so light and so delicate, and yet has these such such um, bold flavors. Um, I ac- absolutely love it. It's like a dichotomy here. It's it's very light, but it also has very very uh, you know punchy flavor. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give it a four point two. I think it's really good, and I think that between the two that we've already tried. We tried the bubble tea, and we tried uh, now the truffle berry. Truffle berry is a clear winner yeah. between those two. So far, so good. Yeah. We got two more. Some interesting ones. The next two are pretty scary. Yeah. Um, one is a melon milk, which I'm, I've just never been a big fan We've of melon We've never foods. had a good melon milk. Yep, never. And then we have a pink squared, which is a, like supposed to be like a pink starburst. Yeah. So, I mean, it could be good. Might be good. It might be good. Uh, I'm not crazy about candy, but we'll see. We will see. This I, I fucking like a lot. Though. Yeah. It's really good. It's tasty. Surprisingly good. So, Well, thank you so much, Trip Club, for sending it out. Um, we're really, you know, we love to try all the newest and, and the greatest, and we hope that we can help you guys make an informed decision. And thank you guys for watching, and please keep close tight. It's coming from up here. What's a witch wet? What's a witch wet? What's a witch wet? <laughs> you crazy, y'all. Yeah, bruh. Yeah, bruh. Yeah, bruh. Yeah, bruh. Yeah, bruh. All right, that's enough. Yeah. See you guys.